How the heck did we buy a bigger RV with less space inside? We'll tell you on this episode of Roaming with Rosie. All the new roamers who've just joined our channel. And welcome back to all of you who've roamed with us before. I'm Jamie. I'm Linda. And this is Roaming with Rosie. Two, we've been on a path to stop the race for more stuff and instead embrace more living. Not everyone has a choice to do what we're doing, but we hope we inspire you to get out there and start living. A few weeks ago, we showed you the completion of the renovation of our first motorhome, Original Rosie. A 36-foot 2001 Holiday Rambler diesel pusher. After a summer of adventure with her, we decided she may not be the best fit for our travel plans. So we put her up for sale. There's information in the description below to let you know whether Rosie is still available or not. Last week, we toured the outside of our newest motorhome, Rosie 2. That's T-O-O. She's a 2006 Alpha Sia diesel pusher that's 40 feet long. Yeah, and Alpha built these motorhomes from 2002 to 2008, and unfortunately, because of the Great Recession, they went out of business like a lot of other RV makers. This week, we're going to tour the interior of our latest project, and if you know us, we like projects. Let's take a look. So, I was thinking maybe we could make three wider steps rather than four narrow steps. No. And Dexter would appreciate it, and when we get old, we won't fall out of the RV. No, we will fall out of the RV because the risers will be so tall that you're not used to that and you'll end up falling anyways. Alpha was one of the first motorhome builders to build motorhomes with these tall ceilings. Um, John Crean, the owner of Alpha, said he wanted it to feel more like a regular home. So he built these with tall, real tall ceilings. I forget how tall, like seven feet something, I think. But anyways, uh, what that does, it makes it so you can actually have ceiling fans. So we have two ceiling fans. We have a ceiling fan in the living room area and also one in the bedroom. And then we also have uh, three fantastic fans. We have a fantastic fan here, one in the bedroom and also one in the bathroom. One thing that really made me fall in love with the Alpha when we first time we came in it is because it really feels like home as soon as you come in. And also there's so many amenities in it that just came standard. Like all this is real leather seating and um, all the cabinets they're all real wood all these windows it's huge all these windows and all the light that it lets in that's really awesome and the countertop hard surface and all of that was included so um, the other thing that's really cool about the 40 foot Alpha Sia the 36 foot didn't come with this but the 40 foot did is this uh, area here um, you got this solid surface here where you can put stuff or whatever, but this is for like if you wanted a PC, you can actually put the PC in here. And then these are like file cabinets where you they actually have file cabinet holders right here. And then this is a, a drawer, but then it's also a desk. So if you wanted a, you know, like a desk space and be able to work, say, have your chair out here. You can do that, and this all slides back in. Which is this table? It actually extends. It has an internal leaf that folds down. So, like when you're traveling, you just kind of close it up like that. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and then it slides open. This just kind of pivots up. You wow. put it in like that, and that gives you a little bit more space. These chairs are really—they're high-quality chairs. The only problem I have with these chairs is because of how big they are, not a lot of space. The other thing that I was really happy about was it came with a full-size fridge. I don't think this came standard um, in the 2006. They might have had an option or had a bigger one in a later model, but um, I really like this. This particular refrigerator is from 2005. so. To get better energy usage, we'll probably replace it with a newer one. But I, I'm on a really strict anti-inflammatory diet, and a spinal surgeon put me on that to help me not have surgery. And a year later, I'm doing really great, don't have any pain, but it requires me to make most of my meals, everything that I, that I want to have. I need to have a place to keep it, 
or make it ahead and keep it frozen. So I really like that we have the full size fridge. Okay. I really love that all the cabinets and all the storage. I've talked to some people in um, the Alpha Facebook group and a lot of them said they haven't even found use for this many cabinets yet. <laughs> but Vanna over here will show you all the beautiful cabinets. But I really like the color and everything of them a lot. Yeah, if you notice initially when we bought Rosie One in our first video, <laughs> Linda talked about how much she disliked oak. Well, this is all oak. I know, but it's I've never seen oak that wasn't really stained before. It's a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm not, not sure if they just put a clear over top of it and didn't stain it like they did in Rosie One. So, but for right now, that's a little bit of a reprieve for me. So I'm not going to have to start out immediately <laughs> painting cabinets. So that's kind of a good thing. Yeah. So I guess I have to take back. I guess I don't hate all oak. I like oak that isn't stained. Right. That's clear. Natural oak. Natural oak. There you go. So we were talking about all the cabinets. It has all this storage under the sink. And um, and then it also has a water purification system. I don't know if that came with it, but it looks like it probably did because of the way the space is designed. Yes, it, it does come with it. There's one there and there's also one in the, where you hook up your hose in the wet bay. So that's pretty nice, and, and they threw in an extra filter, so we got a little bit of time to figure out where to get replacement stuff for that. Right. So that's really nice. We've got all this under the sink storage going. And that, and that pulls out too. Yep. That pulls out. That one doesn't open. This one doesn't open. <laughs> this is the heavy one. So I've got the cast iron pots and pans down in there, so that's really nice. All the pots and pans I could possibly use are down there. The thing we showed you when we were outside the coach was that this is where your trash goes. So you can um, put big things, of course, by taking this off, but we showed you that you can access it from outside so you're not hauling out your trash and walking out the front door with it. There's what they call fishing rod storage. So up above this slide decoration right here is a pocket where you could put fishing rods. No, There's also a washer dryer. To me, it's still weird to have your washer dryer in the kitchen. If you're from England, then it's perfectly normal to have your washer dryer in the kitchen, but we haven't used it yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to being able to, especially if we're staying in an RV park. And we've got all this pantry space here. This is really nice. I wish these pulled out, but there's a reason that they don't. So this is really nice to have all this pantry space. And we're going to show you why there's access on this side of these cabinets. So this is the bedroom area and the master bath area. And we've got this really nice hard surface countertop, stainless sink, double mirrors, and all this storage. But also we've got this amazing closet. It will be so easy to full time in this rig. We could keep so much stuff in here and not have to keep it underneath in the basement. But this closet is huge. And they put in cedar, which is really nice. I don't know if that came standard or not, but it helps to keep the bugs away. Because they included a vanity. So there's a um, there's a receptacle down here. This thing slides out. And then you actually, there's a mirror in here that's on a hinge. So the mirror comes up. So you can put your makeup on. Yeah. Well, I'm not putting any makeup on, but... Uh, and curl your hair. Yeah, the hair that I don't have, so we can do that. Now, this storage goes back, I don't know, probably 27 inches or something like that. It's just massive, but it runs from this side all the way over to the other side of the coach. The other thing that's really cool is this opens up, and these are all your controls. So this is for this slide over here. And then uh, you have light, you know, where you can turn on lights, turn on your fantastic fan, turn on your ceiling fan. There's a volume control to control the radio if you want the radio on. And then this thing here is uh, auxiliary power for, oh, so 12 volt. So if you wanted to plug in 12 volt, charge anything via 12 volt, you can do that there. So the other thing that I like is this shower. Um, it's a really nice big shower. It's actually a little bit bigger than the one that's in the master bedroom of our house. 
The other thing that it has is it has these shades. Now this is a fogged out skylight, so you wouldn't be able to see in, but if you want to be able to just in case block that out because it's hot or whatever, you can close that. So in original Rosie, um, underneath the bed was a massive amount of storage. So that's what I was expecting. I came back here to make the bed for the first trip and was trying to decide what I was going to store underneath the bed, only to be in for a big surprise. There is not storage. There is. This is actually where you access the engine. And there's our engine. And something just flew in. Yeah, a moth. A moth flew in. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit. So one thing that we didn't take into consideration is that a four foot slide means it goes out four feet, but it also comes in four feet. Let me show you. Um, so this is kind of our control panel. Um, this is where you extend the awning and then you can shut your uh, batteries and things off over here. But this is the slide in for the, the main slide in the living room. So that's all the way in. And now we'll follow Dexter down the hallway. Let's go, come on, good boy. Okay, come on. Oh, he's learned how now. <laughs> the first couple times he had to back up to get out of the rig. So I'm a completely visual person. This slide was out when we looked at the coach, when we did the demonstration of everything, we got hung up on the, on, on the awning, which literally got hung up. So the awning motor wasn't working. We said, they said they'll get it fixed and we would come back in a week. So we never got to this slide. We actually finished the whole complete purchase and then came back to pick up the RV after the awning motor had been fixed. And they pulled the slide in and we went, oh, totally different from the Holiday Rambler where we could completely live inside just fine with a slide in. One of the things we liked about Original Rosie is that if you were to stop at a rest stop or you're at a Walmart and you're just doing a, a quick one overnighter, uh, this coach is kind of perfect for that because you can, as you can see, the slides are all in and the recliners, you can still sit in the recliners and watch TV. You can still access everything in the kitchen area and um, be able to make a meal or whatever you wanted to do um, without having to put any slides out. No. So this is the result of a four foot slide. So you have this narrow path. I'm a little bit more used to it now after a couple trips, but some of this furniture doesn't work and you wanna be able to do a quick stop for lunch, be able to access everything, which is a little bit harder in this coach. Certainly not as hard as a fifth wheel or trailer with slides that come in and make it hard so you can't get to the kitchen. The refrigerator, because this wasn't the original design refrigerator, isn't really intended to open when this slide is in. And this crown molding up here is only allows us to open it that far. So we're definitely gonna wanna factor this in in any remodeling that we do um, with the way our seating is and everything so that it, we can make it more usable for quick stopovers or wally docking or something like that where we don't wanna put the slide out. But here's something they did think of for when the slide is in that I mentioned. So now this is in the way of getting to the pantry. But because they made these extra cabinets here, you can still get access to all your stuff while the slide is in. Now maybe you have a better understanding of what happened when we went shopping for a smaller motorhome and ended up with this coach that's actually four feet bigger. Right, and we still want to be able to camp in those areas where we just can't get this large motorhome into. We value the experiences that you share in the comments on our videos. One of our subscribers suggested that we outfit a toad. Uh, a toad is RV lingo for a vehicle that you tow. Um, what he was suggesting that you outfit an SUV or a 4x4 to be able to go on those short excursion camping trips. We really embrace that idea and that probably will be our solution. We're now at the point where we're looking towards a date for pulling the plug on our current life. My job of almost 30 years. And decisions about the house. In upcoming weeks, we'll be showing you the upgrades that we've made to this RV and our plans for hitting the road. 
And if you haven't subscribed, make sure and hit that button. And ring that bell, as that will give you immediate notification each time we upload a new video. And make sure to leave a comment so you can be part of the conversation. Until next time. We'll see, see ya. ya.